modern satellites are much like your latest smartphone. But unlike your smartphone, the environment is harsh and there is no person available to recharge it, move it or rotate it to shoot a nice picture. Did you ever wonder what kind of technology makes a capable and reliable satellite? This is where spacecraft technology will open the black box for you. In this course, you will be introduced to the latest industry-level knowledge about spacecraft systems, from the brain and the very inner parts up to power generation and propulsion. The course is organized in six learning units, each with an ideal duration of one week, and a CubeSat workshop, a group assignment running in parallel to the other learning units. This course suits professionals who have recently entered in the space industry, but don't have a specific background in space engineering, and would like to improve their technical and scientific knowledge of the field. In the first half of the course, we will dive into technologies of bus subsystems. I will introduce you to the function of each subsystem first, and then dive into the technologies being used. We will focus on three subsystems, command and data handling, electrical power, and attitude determination and control. To get a true understanding of important design aspects and different configurations, we will explore some of the lower level technologies at component level. To complete the picture of a typical spacecraft bus, we will also briefly deal with structures, thermal control, navigation and radio communication. However, no one of these functions can be completely exploited without a proper propulsion system. In the second half of the course, we will identify the propulsion options available to move a spacecraft when it is in orbit, or to actually send it to its final orbit. You will first take a closer look at liquid and solid propellant engines. Then, you will learn about the basics of electric propulsion and the different types of electric propulsion systems. Finally, we will go small and discuss the challenges and opportunities of miniaturized propulsion its fundamental differences with conventional propulsion and the main micropropulsion concepts available today. In the CubeSat workshop, your task will be to design a CubeSat concept with your fellow group members, starting from given mission objective and requirements. Under our guidance, you will produce technical budgets, a system architecture and, by means of a subsystem and component trade-offs, a feasible conceptual design of the CubeSat. With this workshop, you will learn how to relate a mission with the spacecraft technology and how the technology of different subsystems interact with each other. Are you ready to dive with us into the exciting world of spacecraft technology? We are waiting for you! <laughs>